you helped broker the deal to put Dale Earnhardt and Richard Childress together when Dale lost his ride. I've always wondered, Dale had a sponsor in Wrangler, and was there ever any talk that he'd drive for you? Yeah, he wanted to race for me, and that's when Earnhardt, uh, they announced that, uh, that his owner was leaving. He come straight to me and wanted me to hire him and bring Wrangler and come on over there. I talked to him down there at Talladega for about a half a day, trying to help him do what I thought he ought to do, because I wanted to help Earnhardt. He didn't, you know, he'd won that championship, and he had a great opportunity to capitalize on it, and he didn't have nobody to go to or nothing to do it, and he'd just about do anything I told him. And I asked him, I said, well, what about going with Bud Moore? Bud Moore had lost his sponsor. And let me see if I could get a break in my operation to where I can hire you, and uh, I will. Well, he went down there for two years. I know I couldn't do nothing for two years because my contract was that long. And about halfway through the year of the second year, him and Bud got uh, an argument over Earnhardt was running the cars too hard and he's blowing the motors up and all that. They almost split up before him, but I talked to him and staying together at the end of the year. Well, at the end of the year, Richard Chillis was running Ricky Rudd, and Earnhardt couldn't go back over and uh, I sold out to Warner Hodge and half of the team. Well, I had two teams in. Well, I need two sponsors. Well, I went and put Wrangler and Darrell's. And I knew the Coors people out in the West. I knew them pretty good because yeah. I talked to them a lot, you know, when I'd go to Riverside and stuff. I called them up. And they wanted to sponsor Neil Bond. So I had my sponsors. Well, Budweiser calls me up, says, I'll give you twice as much money as you got now to sponsor both cars. And I said, well, Lord, have mercy, i got to take care. So I went to Richard Chillis, and I said, if you go back and get Earnhardt, and you all make up, I got a signed contractor you can have. You don't have to go no further. You got a driver and a contract, money to race with. And they went back and did that, and I had Richard the contract because the, the Wrangler guy didn't like Darrell. He wanted Earnhardt, and I knew they'd fit because that tickled them to death. Well, it did tickle them to death. Well, I called the guy that worked for Bill Elliott, he's hunting for a sponsor. And I told him what, what went on with the course. And I hadn't, did not have the contract signed with them. Or we verbally cut a deal. And I called them and told them I couldn't take the deal and told them about Bill Elliott. That's how that Bill Elliott got them. Now, I was under the impression that you had put Dale with Richard Childress right after he lost the ride in 81. I put him to him twice. He went with Richard. Then they, they had, you know, some kind of fallout, out, and I put him with Bud. Well, okay. Richard went and got Ricky Rudd. Well, him and Ricky Rudd didn't have the money to race on for, for coming up here. So I went to Richard, told him and Earnhardt to get back together and get their stuff worked out, and I had him a contract. Earnhardt raced for Bud Moore in 83 and 84. Four. And you were prepared to replace Darrell Waltrip with Dale Earnhardt. That's right. How the course of NASCAR history would have been changed if that had been worked out? Well, you know, Darrell did me a great job, and I ain't seeing it. Earnhardt would have done a better job. I, you know, because Darrell, I, I couldn't ask for a better job than Darrell did for me. He, you know, he just did it absolutely, uh, you know, about a perfect driver for what we wanted and 
the atmosphere and the publicity we needed and stuff uh, through the years with Mountain Dew and so on and so forth with Budweiser and stuff. He, he was absolute perfect for our, what, a, what we had. Earnhardt would have uh, been a more explosive type thing. And everybody says you'd want a whole lot more races with with Earnhardt than you would Darrell. But you got to figure in that Earnhardt was harder on a car. You know, he'd go to front if he, you know, if he had to to tire the car up, he'd still go to front. But uh, Darrell took care of the car. He went when he had to. And he could get the job done. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't say he could outdrive Earnhardt, but I guarantee he could hang with him now. He was, when he went after it, he'd go get it.